Does the shadow of justice loom over a past commander-in-chief? In the waning days of September 2022, New York's Attorney General Letitia James dropped a bombshell of a civil suit on former President Donald Trump, his empire, and his three eldest offspring. This legal onslaught aimed to permanently banish the Trumps from New York's business landscape and sought a staggering $250 million in penalties. This marked the climax of a relentless three-year probe, zeroing in on allegations that Trump deceitfully inflated his wealth, tampered with asset valuations, and indulged in fraudulent dealings. Trump retaliated with vehement denials and brushed off the lawsuit as a politically charged witch hunt. Yet an ominous turn of events has emerged from the shadows. His wife, now drawn into the fray, has been summoned to testify. The saga continues, the stakes rise, and the suspense intensifies. What will the next chapter reveal? We turn to seasoned legal experts to shed light on the unfolding saga. Former Assistant U.S. Attorney Glenn Kirshner and First Amendment scholar Professor Ron L. Anderson Jones join Nicole Wallace on Deadline White House. Kirshner, with his sharp legal acumen, scrutinizes Trump's courtroom behavior and language. He speculates on whether the former president could face further punishment, given his notorious penchant for violating gag orders. On the other hand, Jones, with her deep understanding of the First Amendment, provides a nuanced perspective on the potential implications for Trump's freedom of speech. Their discussion unravels the complexity of the situation, adding another layer to the narrative. As the legal experts dissect the intricacies of the case, the audience is left to question, what will be the fallout of this ongoing legal battle? Will Trump's defiance lead to further legal consequences? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the repercussions of the civil suit and the tax fraud conviction. Fast forward to December of the same year, a jury convicted Donald Trump's business empire of 17 tax fraud charges. This conviction was the result of a six-week trial, during which thousands of pages of tax documents were reviewed. The jury determined that ex-CFO Alan Weisselberg and Jeffrey McConney had acted in behalf of the corporation in a decade-long payroll fraud scheme. Weisselberg testified that the Trumps were unaware of the scheme, despite signing numerous documents related to it. The plot thickened in October of 2023 when State Supreme Court Justice Arthur Ngoran fined Donald Trump $10,000 for violating a gag order and giving testimony that he found to be hollow and untrue. This violation occurred when Trump's campaign website falsely referred to Engeron's law clerk as Schumer's girlfriend. Trump later made a statement outside the courtroom, which Engeron interpreted as a reference to his law clerk. Engeron found Trump's testimony to be intentionally misleading and ordered him to pay the fine within 30 days. As we continue to follow this saga, we are reminded of the fact that no one, not even a former president, is above the law.